Hold on to your butts. These are the Squashbuckler Diaries. Welcome back. My name is Guy Hasson and you are listening to the Squash Buckley Diaries podcast. We are following Joy Shelley's life in the dream and season one is all about ages two to six. Season two will be six to nine. Season three will be nine to twelve and you get the point. We will see a girl, a future heroine grow up live in front of our very eyes in her father's dreams. At least for now, until she figures out how to get out. So we are now at episode 6 of uh, the saga of Mary's death. And the question is, some people, you know, some people when they die in the dream, you can just dream them back up. But some people, for some reason, at least Mary, you can't. Why is that? We'll find out. But will we find out this time? Probably not. But then the question is, what happens to those who dies? She was killed by a spear, turned into dust, and now what? So that's what, we, that's what we're going to talk about today. Episode 24, Mary's Death, Part 6, Dust to Dust. Joy's age, two and a half, told by the Red Dragon. Dragoness, actually. On the night of Mary's death, after Dragon Father disappeared to his waking world, and while Dragon Little was talking to a new friend in the infinite prison, the dust that had become of Mary when she died still lay on the deck of Bunny's revenge. But not for long. Wind came and swept that dust away. Wind came and swept that dust away. All the dust was gone with one gust. The dust twirled in the air as the breeze of all the air flew to where all the air flies and new air comes from. My hiding place. The dust flew towards the suns on a journey that had just begun. I did not want to think where it would go, for I knew only too well. I comforted myself in knowing the dust's journey would take years. Dragon Little would still have a few more years to grow up before trouble found her. Told by the Red Dragon. Hashtags Mary, Dust, Joy, the Red Dragon. So, Guy here again. This was a super short Squash Buckler Diary episode, but it is full of questions, uh, of answers and more questions, uh, and I will not get into any of them. Rest assured, we will talk about everything when the time comes, you're going to know what happened, what the Red Dragon is talking about, uh, but not today. So, join us tomorrow on the next Squash Buckler Diaries when we move past Mary's death and go to another part of Joy's daily life in the dream. And now, the credits. The Squash Buckler Diaries are written and read by me, Guy Hasson. If you want to know more about the Squash Buckler Diaries, check out the website, GuyHasson.com, which is G-U-Y-H-A-S-S-O-N.com. The theme music is called Brash Gentleman and is by Thomas Herodek. I will talk to you again tomorrow in the dream. <coughs> ah okay, sorry about that. <laughs> You can do it. Give me light.
Let there be light. Thank you.